thin feature in extruded boss base. So let's activate extruded boss base feature. Click. Now here it is asking you either select any plane or sketch, existing sketch. So I am directly click on the sketch and the sketch or plane selected. Now the first thing direction. Now here we already discussed about different types of end conditions or start conditions. Now comes to here thin feature. If you activate thin feature, look, this is going to become a hollow. Now here in thin feature, you have three directions, one directions, mid plane, direction one. If you choose one direction, let me say, now see the material moving in one direction. So let's 20 millimeter. Look, material moves in outer direction. Simply click on this arrow and make the direction reverse side or inside. Now look, material moves inside of this profile. Now here you can keep anything, dimensions or anything. Now the next option is mid plane. If you choose mid plane, now the material moves equally both side. Now 15 millimeter, let's say 20. Now look. The third one is two direction. In two direction, you can define different thickness. Let's say 15 millimeter in one direction, 5 millimeter in another direction. See inside 5 millimeter, outside 15 millimeter. Now there is one more condition you will see here end cap. If you activate this, now again it asks you thickness you have to change more than the width. See here width is 10 millimeter. So let's say 2 millimeter thickness. Now look let's say okay let's keep 2 millimeter okay and here let me check section view and for section view i'm going to choose this one okay now let's zoom in look the 2 millimeter thickness added in both sides so this is called cap end so this is how thin feature works in extruded boss base feature i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching